I'm back with a hair tutorial with my new hair. So I'm gonna do this curly hair tutorial that I've already done. So today I'm gonna do the same thing but with my shorter hair. So I wanna see what it's gonna look like with shorter hair. What I'm gonna be using is my chopstick styler which a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, you don't even use chopsticks. I'm like, but it's, it's called chopstick. Like that's what it's called. But I did actually do a video actually using chopsticks on my cousin's hair. So if you do want to see that, then I'll leave that linked as well. I'm going to use this Extraordinary Oil by L'Oreal to go through the ends of my hair. This will just keep it nice. I have bleached hair. My hair isn't actually like dry. It feels like it's actually in really good condition. But it is drier than my natural hair would be. I'm then just gonna give it a little brush free and then put my Plump It Up mousse by VO5, it's the weightless mousse. So if you've got straight hair or hair that just doesn't like to curl, use this mousse because it, it does actually really help. So I've got that amount of mousse on my hand, I'm just gonna give it a little mix it through my hands and then just over my hair, especially near my roots and just sort of comb it through my fingers. It just adds a bit of texture and just something for the curls to hold on to, otherwise my hair is just too straight and silky. And that's it, I'm now gonna go and dry my hair. So now my hair is dry. I put it in like a rough center part and just because that's where I want mine. Yeah, you can see like my hair's pretty much collar length collarbone length but this video is going to take me absolutely forever to do because I have a lot of hair like my hair isn't like really thick but I have like a lot of hair like just if you felt my hair if you could actually come and feel my hair there's just a lot of it so that's why it takes so long to do so just to be clear um because in my last video Although I mentioned it and also showed you the product I'm using, so many people still to this day keep asking me, what curling wand did you use? Where did you get the curling wand? It's in the description box and I also mentioned it in the video and I also showed you in the video. I don't know why people keep asking me. So to save you commenting that and me probably not replying because I've replied to thousands of people the same thing. Heat proof glove, I got it with another curling wand. I'm sure you can buy them on eBay or Amazon. So the curling wand that I'm using today is this chopstick styler by Lee Stafford. It looks like this. It's very thin chopstick. Hence the name, it looks like a chopstick. It's the size of a chopstick. So that is why it's called chopstick. Because it is the same size as a chopstick. I got it from Argos, I'll leave the link below. I think it is just UK based. Hopefully that's answered all your questions, even though it will definitely be linked in the description box below as well. Just put this hair back and out of the way, pretty. Grabbing a very small section like this, I'm just going to put the curling wand behind me. I've got a mirror in front, but it's so tiny I could hardly see. I might end up burning myself in this video. Um, see, this is why I find it so bloody hard to curl my hair, especially at the bottom. Because I'm like, I can't even get to you. Okay, so this end little bits here are probably going to just look really crappy, but because they're underneath my head, doesn't matter. I'm hoping this camera angle will look better. A lot of people did say, why, like, how is your hair staying on the curling wand without you even holding it? I think it's partly because of the products I put in my hair, and I think also because it's such a thin curling wand that it just sort of sticks on it. But I do think it's probably the mousse that I used as well. Um, I don't know 100% if that is correct, but... I believe so.
Now I'm at the end section, which is the very top. I just want to show you how I get it to look natural. I'm going to grab pieces that are quite small so that you get it to look quite natural at your root. So just get a very small bit like this. And I'm going to get it quite close to the roots. So I'm going to bring it right down. Obviously don't burn yourself. And then just let the hair down. And hopefully you can see there, it's quite curly. And the last section of this side, oh my gosh, it's taken forever. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is it. I now have to do this side of my hair. I'm just gonna show you the difference though first. Obviously one side is curly and one side isn't, but I wanted to show you the difference in length because obviously your hair is going to shrink. It's curled, it's gonna bounce up, it's gonna shrink. That is the hair length that it is now without brushing the hair out. You can see it's, it's cut off about that much of my hair. I find it so weird how a lot of people kept telling me that I look like Madonna and Gwen Stefani. Like, in that video. I just still find that so weird because I really don't see it. <laughs> This is the end result <laughs> with my fingers. I'm just going to run through kind of opening the curl up. quite a nice length. I thought it'd be shorter and I was thinking I'm probably not gonna like it because it will be too short. It's actually a good length, I'm liking it. I love having straight hair and I love how I can do so much with straight hair but it is nice to have a bit of a change every now and then and just do your hair differently. I don't do this very often just because it takes so much time to curl. I love all kinds of hair really, I don't really dislike any kind of hair. If your hair is naturally like this, you're lucky you don't have to sit there for hours curling it, but then if you wanted to straighten your hair to have it straight, you would probably take just as long to straighten it, so it's like the same but the other way around. So that is what it looks like with short hair that's curled really tight. I didn't enjoy sitting here for an hour and a half curling it, but I love the outcome. This will literally last me until I wash my hair. It will literally stay this curly. So, I mean, the top bit here might drop a little bit, but it's not hard to just do what I did at the very end and I just curled a few little bits. But the rest of it will literally stay this curly. Remember that everything is in the description box below, so definitely check that out before you ask me any questions because I may have already answered them. So please, if you did like it, give it a big thumbs up, share the video and subscribe for more if you haven't already. All my social media links are down in the description box as well, so definitely check that out and come follow me. I can't believe people actually kept telling me I look like Madonna. I was like, I don't look like Madonna. It was Madonna. Gwen Stefani, Tori Kelly, and Shakira, and then some other people as well. But they were like the top 
people that people kept saying I looked like. I don't see it, but anyway. <laughs> so thank you for watching this video. I'll leave my previous videos up here and in the description box below as well. So if you wanna go see those, you can. And I will see you in my next video. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you curl hair. <laughs> and at the back. And then bringing it forward. And then flipping the hair. <laughs> okay, so.